we are working on cutting some nailing flanges for our windows that we got. These windows are replacement windows, so they did not have nailing fins, but you can buy them from the manufacturer. These are Harvey windows, so we went to our local supplier. Um, the fins come in 17 foot lengths and they have to be cut to the size of the window. They're just vinyl nailing fins. Um, when I was looking this up, I couldn't really find a lot of information on it. And I couldn't find any videos on how to cut these. So we're kind of winging it, but this is the first window we did. And we don't have all the fins on there right now, but we have this top one and the side one didn't come out perfect, but I think it'll be good enough. So we'll show you how we cut those. This is just one of the many projects that we're doing in preparation for a move this spring. This would not be a fun job to do on the job site. This one nailing fin has taken us like an hour to do. Yeah. But now that we have eight of these windows, so we're just going to cut uh, nailing fins for, well, we already did two, but we'll cut the next six. Luckily, we already have the right size, so that'll be easy. Then for the other windows, it'll be sort of back to the drawing board. But at least we'll have an idea about what we're going to do and how we're going to cut them. So. Yeah, and it's pretty easy with our saw here where we can set the angle that we need. We know all the angles on these are going to be 45s. Yeah, we got our miter saw. Um, another tip, uh, if you're cutting vinyl, I did not know this, um, you should turn your blade backwards. So I tried cutting a piece of this with the blade forward and it just shattered into a million pieces. Mm -hmm. So, a uh, quick Google uh, search showed that just turning the blade around prevents that from happening. Um, so, if you run into the situation, I would try that. So, anyway, let's get to work. Oh, you were? Yeah. Filming that? Yes, ma'am. So, these are 17 feet long. They are not really easy to deal with inside. We've just been putting them out the uh, basement window here, as opposed to trying to snake them up through the house. All right, we're stuck. Plastic waste. The easiest way we found to do these flanges is by cutting the end of a new L fin at 45 degrees and then placing it on the window and marking it here and then cutting that at a 45 degree angle. And then we just check the fit use the same length for the other side and then basically for the edges we'll do the same thing. Alright, let's try it on. And then basically you just tap these on. They're kind of hard to get off though and I'd like to leave them off for now for transporting the window um, just because I don't want these to get caught and break or anything. So we're just pre-cutting them 
and we're labeling which window they belong to and then we'll put them on when we go to install the windows. Looks good down at this end. That's kind of what we're trying to leave, like an eighth of an inch. And then when it is pressed on, it sits right up against that line. And yeah, see? And then it leaves room for this top one so that there's as small of a space as possible in there. It'll be easier to flash over that and tape it up so that we don't have any leaky windows. Here is a finished window. We have all the L fin slash nailing flanges on. That's what it looks like when it's done. What are you doing? It's a spooky light. That is a spooky light. It's haunted. Get out of here, ghost! <laughs> Eat it! We're going to be making a layout stick for our walls based on the instructions in this book. And this is Larry Hans, The Very Efficient Carpenter. I highly recommend. Very good book. Very simple and easy to follow. Um, so these layout sticks basically make it a lot easier to lay out your studs because it'll be either 16 on center or 24 on center. Um, and this will just help us go a lot faster when we're actually laying out our walls when we start to build. So we have these two pieces of one by two and which is actually three quarters by one and a half so that's what this plan calls for here so what we're going to do is cut one of these to 49 and a half inches long and then we are going to cut some of these pieces which are nine and a half inches long and then we'll attach them to the stick based on the measurements here, which is the 16 inches. We'll do one 24 inches and then um, we'll just continue on. All right, 49 and a half inches and now we'll cut this. Not the way to cut that. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> cut it back. Alright, so we've measured this at nine and a half inches, and now we're going to cut five of these. We got our five pieces, now let's place them where we need them. All right, so we're gonna measure from the end to 16 inches, and we're gonna mark that. Our next measurement will be at 24 inches from the end. This 
Well layout stick is good for 16 or 24 on center. And then our last mark will be at 32. It's kind of hard to see my lines, but essentially this is our 16 on center, our 24 on center, 16 on center, and then of course we'll have the end piece on that end and on this end. Now we are marking these at 5 inches um, because we want one side sticking up 5 inches and the other side 3 inches and that would be for 5 inches would be for a 2x6 wall and 3 inches would be for a 2x4 wall. So we've drilled our hole. We're going to use little uh, inch and a quarter screws and we're going to put one in on this side and then one on the other side so these don't twist. other four. Here is the completed product. So we have our 16 on center layout here. 16 on center. And then if we go here, this is our 24 on center. If we continue going, this would be our second 16 on center. And then this is our third 16 on center, or second 24 on center, if that makes any sense. But essentially, this is just a tool to make wall layout go a whole lot quicker and prevent you from making mistakes when you're doing your stud layout. So quick and easy to make. It took us about probably half an hour. Um, and we'll be using it soon.